Ah, uh, for my intentions for the call are especially gather feedback from you guys from on the monitoring uh, system we gonna build uh, with Softco, uh, and, and I don't have any distraction. I'll pass to you, Libby. I, I did, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so my intention is just to sync with you because I don't have so much things going on for transparency. So I need to know what we have to do for transparency, except for, except to prepare for the uh, for the call for uh, with um, Eduardo tomorrow. So that's all I know. So I wanted to also know if there are other things that we have to um, work on this week aside from that. And I have zero distraction. So I pass it to Sam. Well, intentions. Seppi just told me that he, um, you, you you were going to have this this call and um, you you didn't know very much how to uh, do that monitoring and I don't have any idea either, but maybe. Uh, uh, with the input of everyone, we can have something. We, we can think on, on something. And distractions. Um, I I have no distractions either. I I just uh, got something for, for eating, and I'm well. <laughs> we can start. Awesome. Uh, I I would uh, first do the first two points of on the agenda just to sync with Ivy, and then we have like the whole time for the for the monitoring thing. So we can brainstorm on that. I mean, the, the idea was brainstorm on that, and yeah, have input from everyone. I mean, I have some ideas I will share, but it's good, like, yeah, we do it as, as a community. I share screen. Uh, yeah, just that, that will take one minute. Um, so, Zeb, how did it go no. with um, Juan last week with the recording? He couldn't do that. Uh, his internet was bad. And yeah, he was saying so sorry, but I I was backing him up, so we have the recording. Uh, that's why GG. And yeah, I guess. Okay. There is also a there is a call on I'm not seeing it in here the from uh, Omega, but yeah, I'll be there. It, it's okay. Okay. Next point. Uh, yeah. What I that's just to think with you. This like we have the audit with Eduardo tomorrow, and then Libby also show interest on on do the audit. Uh, yeah, we should sing with her. And uh, yeah, do you have any question regarding the audit from tomorrow? Um, yeah, so tomorrow is only for um, the hatchers group, hat hatchers outreach group only, right? Or will um, yeah. Livia also join? Is it only going to be Eduardo? No, it's going to be with Eduardo tomorrow. Okay, and um, is there um, anything we need to prepare for it? I'll, I'll give him the, the document and what we are going to be doing is, uh, yeah, it's like the first, uh, I mean, Gravity did the audit by themselves and with Eduardo, I was talking to him to do it together. So we also know uh, the process, he's, meanwhile, he's doing it so we can help and, and improve it if, like, if there is any, uh, any places where he don't don't feel comfortable or anything. Uh, hello, Juan. Um, hello. And yeah, it's just like to be doing it together, just to gather um, better feedback. Let's say. Okay, so they're okay. Uh, and then, like the monitor performance metrics on a monthly basis, uh, we were discussing it on a stewards call with. Uh, and we will sing with uh, Softco, but uh, yeah, the idea behind here is like 
since the uh, audit will be done by by the working groups themselves uh, i think we as a transparency should check on that and post uh, and communicate to the rest of the community what's going on so i i was basically using this call to uh, do a brainstorm uh, with all of you guys to yeah to think uh, how we will do that like uh, how we will we'll monitor uh, make like the the DAO monitor themselves so uh, what I was thinking is um, uh, hold on Zeb um, just to clarify so this performance is in relation to the audit is it in which performance are we going to monitor here? Yeah, I think I think the audit. Like the, the thing is, uh, like the performance of the of the of the working groups. Let's say because of the working groups can uh, monitor. I mean, they do the audit themselves, so they can they can put there whatever they want. And our job as transparency is to. Yeah, to check that what they do is not, uh, it's correct and it's not like we are uh, going behind them and telling, hey, you, that's wrong. But it's more like uh, we're checking it and if someone is saying something that's not true or hiding information, we could talk with them or, I mean, it's just some monitoring. And I think uh, th those, uh, since are they going to be posted on the on the forum? Like uh, any member of, of the community can do it, but uh, as transparency working group, it's like we have to do it. If if like in the worst case, like nobody is doing it, we should do it. Okay, so um, it's like we're going to um monitor their transparency or like um do the audit or monitor the audit um every month. So the transparency or the I mean, is going to be like every month. I put I, I put monthly here, but uh, doesn't have to be monthly. It's just to can be weekly, daily, annually. I just put monthly because. Okay, yeah, okay because it. I remember but, or what we talked before was every three months you will monitor their um. You will do the transparency audit every three months. So um. Right now, we will do it on a monthly basis. Yeah, but uh, well, uh, like uh, the working groups are doing the um, the audits every three months, but we should keep auditing. Uh, well, maybe uh, before, like let's say they update something in their manifesto that, and or. Uh, if they keep, I mean, the, the big audit is every three months, but I was thinking mm -hmm. we should, we could uh, monitor like more regularly. Okay. But yeah, I, I, I like to hear from all of you. What do you guys think? From my side, I think that um, making the working groups um, auto evaluate themselves is in, is made in order to move that responsibility from transparency and this is important because you don't want to be seen as the police <laughs> or as the inspectors and so you can keep in a in a profile that it's more like uh, we are helping um, you reach to the rest of the community with what you are doing. We are just here to help in order to... Um, these are the things that all the working groups are doing. Uh, it, it will be very nice if you also comply with those. It's not, But it's not mandatory and it's something that we are uh, always um, said that it was not a mandatory thing, it is just uh, in order to understand which is the state of the pro of each one of the working groups, if and well, I, I kind of like this this way of doing things, but it it is up to you to do things differently, of course. Um, 
you can also see transparency as the fourth power, like in a democracy in which the press is, is it is called the press, right? The press is the is the fourth power that makes the other three powers accountable. So you could you could also think about um, something like that, in which you are. Uh, seeing what the working groups are doing and, and then reporting if there is some inconsistency or ask for these inconsistencies. Uh, you will make people or the working groups more uncomfortable, I think. I mean, the press, the, the fourth power is, is about making the power uncomfortable, we, which maybe is a good strategy also for, for a DAO. Uh, I don't know how you want to go for it. I mean, the idea that I had was, uh, that we have discussed previously, was that you uh, that you were helping the groups to be accountable, not you were enforcing the groups to be accountable. And you, I mean, it's very difficult in a, in a small DAO that people uh, lie or because if they are it, the, lies don't, don't have very long uh, legs and <laughs> um, I, I don't think that it's the the work of transparency the work of transparency is more like um, help people be able to put on the forum what they are doing and the same people in the in the forum can see that doesn't have any consistency you were saying that day that uh, this is uh, this was happening and now it's happening another thing. So, uh, what is going on? And that's also the the super good thing of recording everything in which you can say, well, but what is going on here? I don't know. Maybe and th that's what I I think that. We could shift a little bit into making transparency the fourth power, but I still prefer that it's just a, a working group that helps the other working groups to be transparent. I I agree with Sam. I think that maybe um, we could have we could have um, the audits every three months and post them uh, in the forum so that everyone knows um, like w the work that has been done. But we can also say that anyone in the community can ask for like uh, for, for like an, an extraordinary audit, maybe. Like if, if, if um, someone notices that uh, the things that are in the audit are not like um, co uh, coherent to the reality of the working group. They can maybe ask for a, for extraordinary audit. Um, but um, the ideal would be that um, the audits are only done like once every three months, because um, I think that um, it's it's very good to have this kind of accountability. But um, I think that three months, it's like a good time lapse. And also um, to not have like um, um, too much time taken from other activities. I think maybe it just like if, if, if someone asks for, for an, uh, and anyone in the organization can ask for, for an ex extraordinary audit. And, and in that way, we, we practice that kind of mutual monitoring that anyone in the organization can signal uh, or, or try to re report um, if they see something that is not happening uh, the way it's supposed to. Yeah, but... Like the thing here, uh, yeah, I, I, I also think like this is the way to go, but the, like we have the this issue, start uh, mutual accountability methods. Uh, yeah, so, so we are right now brainstorming on it. And, but do you guys think like the way the audit is made already covers that? 
like uh, like all we were saying now it's like uh, how the audit was uh, built initially so you guys think like just doing the, the audit is enough to have like the mutual accountability I was thinking more like, uh, yeah, I mean, I agree with them, like the lives have a small legs. But if they are evaluating themselves, uh, who, who, yeah, I'm just a bit. Uh, I, I like, think real, real accountability will come when people need to propose, you know, to the DAO that for funding. And we're just you know it's hard to think about that right now because it doesn't exist but in the end everyone will have to make a proposal on some regular basis and if they're transparency so even good that doesn't make good for them getting funding uh, i couldn't get the last part really because you're uh, popping a bit sorry if they don't have a good transparency report, then that won't look good for getting funding from conviction. But if they are uh, doing the, the audit themselves. Oh, I thought I no, I thought you would do the audit or I thought transparency was doing the audit, but they just it's just on them to fix the results of the audit, right? I mean, the way that's great right now, it's like uh, every working group is doing the audit themselves, so we don't impose anything. It's not mandatory. And the, the thing is, we, we're helping the, the working group. And, and that's where, like, like my, like, since they are evaluating themselves, uh, how uh, are we going to say, like, like if they i mean if they are uh, doing the score from the, themselves then when they ask for the i mean i can't agree on what sam say like if they but the, the thing is let's say any working group uh, says they have green score but they lie so w what's the transparency job there or or the community job or how we handle that well and, um i think that this is something that I'm getting from from uh, the session that Levy did last Thursday. And it's like the importance of mutual accountability is that anyone can report uh, like a, an, an unwanted behavior. So I think that it's good that the, the stewards of the working group are the ones that feel the, the, the audit themselves. But the the community is the one that that um, ultimately like legitimates the transparency of, of their work because if they don't feel that the audit is correct, they can ask for an extraordinary audit to to like check if if um, or or to like double check um, if the things that they say they're doing. Are the things that are happening. So, so the, the 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 accountability comes from the community, not from not, not from transparency. But like, if everything is okay, just the document is, is uploaded and anyone like comments on it, or or there, there's no uh, bigger deal. But if there is, if if we upload a, a a transparency audit and it doesn't reflect the reality, anyone in the community can say, hey, this is not what is really happening. Um, so uh, one of my ideas is can we, uh, let me know if this is a good thing or not, but can we like um, have a soft announcement when the transparency audit result is available so the community will also be aware that um, we have done this and they can also check if the working groups are being transparent. Maybe it can be like said in in ter in the in the community calls. Like um, this week, we have the uh, soft go audit, and you can check it out. If, and you can like comment if you think that everything is going well. I don't know. 
yeah i think uh that can yeah it can one it can be uh, one way to do it like making a soft announcement in the community call or i don't know if we can also make a soft announcement in the um discord channel just send them the link every time an audit is finished a forum channel just for the audit and then people can comment in there or or create a topic and then always reply to that topic so all of them are in the same place and it's easy to check them yeah or we can um maybe we can use the transparency channel that because we have our own discord channel right so maybe we can um announce everything in our channel and then the members can just go to our channel and check the updates on the audits or sh should we have a separate channel for the audit i like the idea of uh, posting uh, like libby says on the forum but then we can also have all of them uh, in a i mean we can have both one I, I mean, it, like two databases, one on the forum, like everyone can see it there, and one other on the transparency channel. So people who use more Discord than the forum can also check them there. And I think that both can coexist. Well, the, the, the main text of the audio can be in the forum and in the Discord, you can put the link, I guess. OK. But I really think uh, transparency could, like, for example, let's say uh, any working group uh, put the audit and uh, the community doesn't read it. I, I feel like transparency could just uh, check everything is correct. And, but not imposing or anything, just say, uh, uh, listen this manifesto is incomplete or uh, wh why you know just gather feedback but i don't know of course as transparency you can help the the audit to be i mean you 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 might represent the community when the audit is being done in in a way in which um, but are you sure that the, the manifesto is is correct don't you see here misses some some part or something like that? And the, the so what the the work of transparency can be help to see if everything is is okay, but the ultimate responsibility of reporting to the to the community is the is the working group, and they should publish the, the, the post. Because what that makes is that if they are lying, I don't think that anybody is going to lie, but uh, if they are lying, it's not like transparency has failed. It's like they are lying. <laughs> and that makes, th that puts the responsibility where, where it, it should be, in which the working group is the responsible to be re transparent and the community itself is the responsible to make it happen, to account for it. Make it account to make the working group account. Um, in terms of monitoring performance, uh, since we will do the uh, actual audit every three months, um, maybe we can do um like every month or within those that span before the actual um audit again. Like uh, you and I can have a, a working session or invite others just to. Like um check if the uh if the documents on the forum are still updated after the first audit, like in the middle of the first audit and the next audit, like maybe we can check if the documents are still updated so it won't be too much work for them to update the manifesto before the um actual uh, before the next audit. Like just checking if the documents are still updated. Like it won't 
be reflected on the audit result, but it's like our help for uh for them to monitor if um yeah if the documents are still up to date and uh we can offer also some recommendations how to um uh improve or something like that. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I like this way. So regarding this issue, like we should write a, a proposal on the community uh, how will will be handled that. So. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit, do, do you guys think that that doing that audit with these things should uh, accomplish this? Yeah, I think we can um, we can write in the proposal how are we seeing that mutual accountability is gonna happen. And how much of it is already happening because we have so much transparency in the community. And then now we're adding the audits and, and then we can explain how the audits will work and how people can participate in this mutual accountability. And I think it could, uh, this would be enough for this proposal. Okay, so if we don't have anything else, uh, I, I, we only have those points on the agenda. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, since you're here, Libby, uh, do you want to talk how we are going to handle the software audit for this sprint? Maybe, for example, Juan did it by himself and then we sync, uh, but with Edu, we are going to do it together. Uh, because yeah, we just want to uh, do the from different systems just to gather the the better feedback. Uh, since you here, how would you like to approach uh, this uh, audit for this spring? We can do it together. That sounds fun. Could we schedule a, a date now? Sure, let's do it. Uh, do you want to do it this week or next week? We can do this week. Um. What about tomorrow at 5 p.m. Europe time? Okay. When the, okay. Cool, oh, I'll send you guys an invite. Okay, awesome. So yeah, I think that's all guys. Thank you so much for, for coming and for your feedback. Thanks, Ab. Thank thanks, Ivy. Yeah, thanks, Ivy. Great work. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you later.